In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, today we continue with the testimony of our friends. As I told you yesterday, beloved of God, Jesus loves us. And he's still waiting for you to come to him so that he can send you to someone who is suffering. There are people who are still waiting for you to accept the will of God so you can go to proclaim the good news to them. Brothers and sisters, today this is your call. Jesus is calling you to go to give you a mission to give you a message to his people hallelujah may god bless you my dear friends may god open your ears so that you can hear the voice of god hallelujah brothers and sisters i'm marie louise Omomaralungu. i continue with the good news may god bless you Chosen of God, let us continue with the testimony. As I told you, the person will come himself to you very soon. Now, I can't hide what Jesus did we, in my presence. Let me tell you, Jesus did a lot, but this is a very great testimony which will help you to understand the mercy of God. Hallelujah. The person was in a traditional and he was deep. That is how he, he, he told me. He always says, when I go in something, I go deep. In traditional, in idols, I was so deep. Now in Jesus, I have to go deep. Now the person is the one who goes to the church every day. I can remember last time we went to the church and he was so sorry. So he took a picture and sent to me. I go to church very early because nobody is here, only cleaners. Then I told him, why did you go so, so sorry? And he said, I didn't, I couldn't sleep. That is why I get up so early to come to Jesus. And he told me, you can't imagine how I feel when I'm with Jesus, how I feel so deep, how I feel so peaceful, how I feel so happy because of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, today I tell you the way I met the person. Because he's not a Rwandan, he's not from my side, he's a, a, a person of abroad i didn't tell you the country he himself will tell you his country one time he came to visit rwanda because of god we met we met to a hotel where i was and he was also to that hotel we met and we talked a bit but the time I was talking to him, he told me that is the first impression. When he saw, he saw me, he saw the light from my forehead. That is what he told me. 
and he was curious to know who is that person because of that light. For me, I couldn't see that light, but because he him, himself he was in the idols, he had that power of seeing what is hidden. You can automatically understand that he was a very great person in idols. Then, when he was talking to me, he was so humble to me. And the way he was humble to me, I told him many, many, many things. And those I was telling him, it was not coming through my brain. It was coming through the voice of Jesus. He told me, this person, I need him. I will use him to do this and this and this. And I told him, Jesus wants you to repent. Jesus wants you to change your behavior because he wanted to change you completely from the idols to his kingdom. The person didn't hesitate and he said, okay, if you will do for me, I will have no problem. Because the, those idols, he was there from the, his childhood. Means he didn't pray for it. That was from the family. Means he was innocent from that uh, kind of being in the idols. Then he said, for me, if Jesus wanted to use me, I have no problem. I told him what Jesus was showing me, what will happen for him, for his future. When we separated, when he went, automatically what I told him happened. And the way it was happening, it was also touching his mind. And always remember that I told him the, uh, the same. Then he wrote to me and he said, you are so mysterious. All you told me is happening. Then I told him, be with Jesus because Jesus will help you to overpower that bad situation you are facing. Brothers and sisters, it was not easy. I can't go deep. Maybe he himself will go deep and he will tell you what happened to him. What I can tell you, he started a battle. Not because of his will, but God did that. He started that, uh, that battle of living idols through his friends or his family. What they, they did to him. The family did, the member, some members of his family did bad to him, and the person decided to leave everything. Then the, the process for leaving them, them to Christianity, that was a battle. It was a very, very serious battle. But Jesus with him, one time his mom, who has died for long ago, came back. But he told me, mom was not in idols, in a traditional. Mom was a Christian, and he was in the choir. Mom came and told him, leave all you see, leave everything, but I wanted to show you one person who will help you to overpower, who will help you to overcome, and who, who will help you, he will, he will take your hand. That is what he told me. And he will lead you to the uh, glory of God. And that person will be a very precious person to your life because he will help you to go to God. That is what he told me. Then mom gave him my, like my picture. Yes, he knows me. He knew me. Uh, that person, he knew me. 
but we were talking as uh, people who met some some time but the time mom told him like that that became so serious and he wrote to me he told me i wanted to tell you something so 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 uh, confidential i told him what and he told me what mom told me him and he said i want to you help me i want to be closer uh, spiritually because he couldn't be closer uh, physically because he was abroad then he saw he told me i wanted to be with you close yeah, with the, with you very closely because my mom showed me you were a very precious person to me then we started a, i can say we started a journey which was not easy for me it was not easy because to help someone from the idols that is not easy I suffered a lot and I will tell you how that process was even until today. I suffered a lot because of those idols which wanted not to leave him, not to lose him. And for him he were committed to Christianity. That is why for me it was a battle to explain to him how Jesus is and sometimes when we are not together he could face very uh, bad challenges and he could overpower those challenges from the family from the friends from everywhere he had a lot of money but at the time of leaving those uh, idols the family took his money from him and they hold that money and they were saying if you come back to us we will give you your money but if you continue going to Christianity leave everything and he told me I told him leave and he said mom he's, he's calling me my mom mom I leave everything because of Jesus then he started leaving the poverty he was miserable because of that but he endured until today now he, he is in the process of baptism very soon he will be baptized then he will be a full christian the priest told him in the time of your baptism i will also give you the first communion and also the sacrament of confirmation because for you you are grow up or grow up that is why you have to have all sacrament all together at once brothers and sisters that was the battle but now he's fine he thanks jesus he can tell me the way he feels and i feel very happy because he met jesus and i thank jesus the way he's uh, treating him hallelujah he's uh, doing many many things like to attract him to make him closer to him hallelujah thank you jesus thank you for what you do for us thank you for what you do for our families for our friends jesus we thank you very much we thank you for this soul which was saved by your mercy Jesus, thank you very much. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.